Thank you for the second round of questions. The first question was about the hashtag Ban Korea. The second one was about public private partnership. And the third one was about uh, constitutional amendment, whether it will, will change the political landscape. Mm -hmm. um, the first question, I already responded to the question that the professor asked if there was any problem or any, any potential problems that uh, both countries have to iron out differences. Mm -hmm. And the only way we do it, if I was the leader of the country, is to get together the table. You know, there's a re that's also part of the reason why I'm visiting uh, Korea here. Even though I'm suspended, I'm still a close friend of, of Thailand. I wanted to come here and really face the problem face to face, mm -hmm. rather than ignore it or rather than shy away from the problem. Mm -hmm. So I hear, you know, I meet with the Korean business leaders. Mm -hmm. I meet with the Thai labor mm -hmm. laborers. Um, hopefully, when I get back, I get to uh, talk to the to the uh, to the. Oh, I actually met with. Uh, Vice Minister Moon, who was the previous mm. ambassador mm. of Korea in Thailand. Mm. Ambassador Moon. Mm. So I had dinner with him. So, you know, at least within a few days, I have a dialogue with all parties involved. Mm -hmm. And then I understand the complexity of the issue between, between labor rights and immigration problems. <laughs> we, you also have to protect the national interests of your own country. Mm -hmm. We also have to protect the, the labor rights of our own country. But it's been a while that we last iron out the differences and be uh, detailed about it. Just like how I said, what's a, what's a real supply? What's a real demand? Um, what's for each industry? What kind of duration of labor does the Korea need? Or what does the Thailand side has to offer? So if it's not just one single umbrella, but we segment the problem into slice and dice and manageable chunks, then this kind of issue be you know mutual benefit for people, and then the peripheral problem of not getting through immigration will be minimized or will be uh, rectified. Um, the second question was about public and private partnership. Um, to me, it comes quite naturally because I plan my life that way. You know, I in the first part of my conversation with you, in the first part of my talk, is that I plan my life as a public uh, private kind of two sides of the coin. So if you want to be 360, you have to be a business, you have to be an entrepreneur, you have to be in a digital startup, you have to understand a bit about public policy and the government side so that I can see what the limitations from, <laughs> from both sides are. But I think it's about uh, transparency and efficiency. You know, ease of doing business is to cutting down regulations that are not relevant today and making sure that the public service, the core of with the people, and it has been done, but hundreds of thousands of people were taking the streets and they have demanded that it has to be the constitution, not for the military or the elites, but for 100% ties, not just the top 1%. Mm. Um, so it's, it's always possible and has been done before, but this time I think if we strategize it properly and if we not just focusing on winning elections, but also on domination of ideas, that constitution as you know the top level, top hierarchy of law, that all those various laws have come through. If it's about you know, freedom, if it's about fraternity, if it's about equality, and, and it's designed for the people, then of course it will happen sooner or later, but it will happen. Okay. We have put in form of the government. It's also something that's not strange. It could be from various reasons, the right reason and the wrong reason. Um, but Sweden, for example, you know, the, the, the current prime minister is not from the first party. Mm -hmm. So politics is politics. Mm -hmm. So if you don't take it personally, then you have the will to go on in what has to be a joint parliamentary session between elected member of parliament and appointed senators of 750 total. And you need a simple majority of 376. So that's the only reason why I, I won the people's heart, but I couldn't win 